Hey guys, this is George of a Lego Star Wars book review on the Star Wars Visual Dictionary. And I know it's not much of a Lego review, but it's awesome, really. This book can definitely get it. So we'll just get on to the minifigures. It's very funny, minifigures of books. <laughs> First, we have, um, or oh, only we have, Celebration Luke Skywalker. He's got the old version Luke Skywalker hair, he's got the girl one, now he's got like um, Anakin's hair from the Clone Wars. He's got his medal and... Oh, God. Sorry that, sorry guys, he just fell over the book. Just try and get it up See? And then you, he's got, on the medal he's got a bit of a misprint because there's obviously like detail they just printed it a bit to one side and he's got like a gun holster thing by there so, now let's get onto the book itself so if i just stick that with it as you see front cover there is that's like kind of foil thing you got the lego logo trademark sage is seven plus you've got darth vader on the front and you've got that and the mini figure thing. So if I just open it up, see that bit there is really thick because that's where the mini figure will go. I've taken it off and it's been a bit of a rip. If you watch other people's, you'll see the almost say to how to get it off and stuff like that. So the first page is oh, first page now, slave one from t the two or the 2006 slave one. I've got that at the moment, I'm trying to repair it. And if you look by here, it's got like a bit of a flip thing. I don't know if I'll be able to show you it properly. That's it. And then on the other side, it's got a clone one. So it's written by Simon Beercoft and consultant Jeremy Beckett. So here we just have the contents with Yoda, the old... Yoda saying much taller and you still have then Turk Falso who was, who was a pirate and ten who I think was in the B Wing. So and yes they also have this here which says the name of the set and it has a year it was produced, how many pieces, the film and what number it was. So, yep, yeah. and then the first page is a really cool because it's a timeline of all the Lego. And I was looking on this and I figured out that the oldest set I have is. Oh, is it gone now? Sorry, guys. Um, that one there, I believe. Oops, sorry. That one, it's um. The final jewel one of what's oh, Luke Skywalker and um, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Why I can't believe I forgot that name. Then I also had that. So I had that one there, the Obi Wan Jedi Je Jedi Starfighter, which is cool. And I had most of those um, ones there from Episode Two. Actually, in fact, in fact, I had all of those except for that the one there. Oh, I won't tell all that. Now, the next page, then you have all the other ones. So then you have Cloud City, which is by there. And so you've been off for five hundred pounds. It's just mental. Then you got Jabba's Palace, and it's like some of the ones in here they didn't even know they existed. Like they have a Tie Fighter collection, and it's like wow. They made that. That's like cool. And then you have the episode three ones, which uh, episode three ones, and it's almost like you can tell what how they've made the boxes each year. So they've almost changed each year. And then I don't really get this now. They have had a tie crawler. I mean, what are they on about a tie crawler? They must be mental. And then, oh, there's also a mistake on here. When it says Clone Wars, if you follow the green bit here, and then it has a mini in 
PV hold on see it says mini imperial speeder bike with a stormtrooper in the clone wars I just that's just mental and me need to go um da -da 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 -da, driver somewhere like in that bit there where the endor attack is no it would be yeah, it would be in the end or attack. And then you've also got... The... Oh no, sorry guys, um, it'll be in that one there, the home calamari thing. So, that's it. Then on the next page is an awesome artwork. It's of, um, a load of shock troopers on those things. And then you have one of those wheelie things. Then it just has profiles about all the characters, so... Anakin Skywalker, then you have him um, young with yellow face and with peach face, and then him and his um, air speeder, then him there, then Pad Padme, and I'm just really happy now. They re released her, which after 10 years, I forgot which set it was in now. Um, oh, sorry guys, I forgot. If I remember, I'll come back. And then you have Anakin's. No, um, Jedi Interceptor and then Anakin there. And they have these brick facts here, which are interesting, but yet it's quite funny. Um, then you have Obi Wan Kenobi with his big one there. Then you have his little red one and then the blue one there with the expanding ring, which he should have actually put on Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter, I think. It would have been very good for the money then. And then him there in Jedi in Exile. Then you have all the characters. Um, and you have the big thing there, Mace Windu with the light up one, light up lightsaber, Kid Fisto, Qui Gon Jinn with the specially made hairpiece, um, Lumira and Lee, something like that. Anyway, with a light up lightsaber. Then Yoda and Jedi Bob. <laughs> this is quite funny, but he came in the public gunship set. And then you have. Anakin and Obi Wan's final jewel. I'll just skip on a few pages now. And you have the Sith Apprentice and all that stuff. Oh yeah, Pod Racers. They re-release a new one now, and which is good. I like some of these characters. They're blooming. Oh, sorry. They're rubbish. Oh, the Nebo. If you look at him and look at that model, it's crap. And then Watto is this blue. Then Aldebedo then is just a model. See, look at that now. And look at that there. Massive difference, really. And then Gas Gang goes really bad. And like they've almost made each pod race uh, back in the day. Geonosian Starfighter. The fourth, the no, third one has been re released. Bounty Hunters, Django Fett. Separate. <laughs> look at that. Then you have the old M. M no. MGT, which is rubbish. And then you have the new one, which they need to re release. I think they. Got a Clone Wars special one, which is good. General Grievous. Then all the droids. Um, all your own army bits. Aerial Trooper and all these special clones. Then this is the set where she came with a light up lightsaber. I forgot her name. Oh, the Katamaran Moran. And I said that Jedi with the light up lightsaber. Mace Windu came with the um, oh, the clone turbo tank. Then you have the Sky Hopper, which is one of Luke's toys he was playing with when he met R two D two and C three PO. Then you have the work, not the workshop, the sand crawler. I mean, so they've almost taken it apart here, which is cool. Um, I'll just move on. There's the old Millennium Falcon, which has been re released. That's an awesome Millennium Falcon, then they got the Alpha Pal Palpatine, then this here, uh, then the Death Star, and it says here, many of you might know it already, but 24 minifigures, I mean a mental. And then you have um, all the Imperial Army, now if you look here, this Stormtrooper has printed legs, when this one doesn't, which I don't think is fair, because they need to put on all of them. 
Then the here they have a tidy with a droid brain, and that's a minifigure. That I mean, it's meant. It's just there's never that, and it's supposed to be re-released after the um when they killed. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the Empire's fittings after the Battle of Endor. Is looking on um Wikipedia, and that's just bewildering. Then you have here the Star Destroyer. I had this. This is now in pieces, which I'm very sad about. Grand Moff Tarkin, and then this um, Imperial Trooper, Darth Vader, and that is that's the one there for five hundred pounds. Right now, let's skip on a couple of pages now. Right then. Aha! Clone Wars. We'll start a bit on this, shall we? Uh, Jedi Command. You have all these characters, Anakin, Boron Anakin, Boron Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, who's very cool. The reason I don't like Anakin is because his colours are just plain and Ahsoka is just boring. Yoda, he looks a bit different there on the camera. Mace Windu, Plo Koon, Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, Magna Guard, Luke Gunnery, um, Orkando Far and Palpatine. Then there's a separate shuttles. In the clone army, um, you have um, all the different ones here, like clone pilot and uh, stuff like that. Captain Rex, Commander Cody, the droid army, which is cool. I really need one of those. Uh, so I'm just researching on the internet for one. Then you have the specialist test, so we're coming to the end. You have all these little ones here. Cool. Then the all these cool these ones made out of really big bits like there's a droid occur, destroy a droid, um the pit droid, battle droid, storm trooper, R2 D two, Django Fett and a super battle droid and then a half fire droid and then dark. Here we have the Ultima Collector set, and the funny thing is, I have none of them, which I'm quite depressed with. But, um, pardon me, at least I do have Lego Star Wars. You have this here, the massive, massive, massive Tantive 4. Then you have like a Brick Maid Yoda, and then a Boo Starfighter, silver painted, like proper luminous silver, it's like um, mirror silver. Darth Maul and the TIE Interceptor. And I don't really know what's so different about this and the other ones. Because it's just it's the same. And, and P these here are more of the other ones. Here you have the Rebel Snow Speeder. This um, Imperial Star Destroyer, which is like really, really big. And then Tantive 4, they made a little one there. And it actually fits in the cockpit underneath that. Then the big Death Star 2, the big ATST, and then they have a TIE Advance and General Grievous. Here they have Beyond the Brick, which is the most interesting part of it. It's just amazing, really. Here they have the complete minifigure selection, or collection, I mean. And then they have a little one here of George Lucas. And, um,. It shows you here almost how they've made it, like the moulded head for Kit Fisto, the thing for the Chewbacca person, or the Wookiee, and the thing of the Tontons, and the made ones from bricks, and now they just made a specially moulded one, I think. Then for Admiral Akbar's head, they made that, and I was set. And let's go on here. See, here's the Lego team, my respect to you. And uh, bef um, an early model of the TFS, which is a Trade Federation shuttle, and it's based on a concept re reference. And then this here is a um, Battle of Yavin thing, and I think it's uh, it's made by one of the creators, and it's cool. And then they have the here all the special ones. Then here they have the big ones. And look at that moss size thing, it's ginormous. And then that bit, and then that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you.